And generally, as I said, Dexcom has a good reputation, although there is a class action lawsuit for their G7 sensor. Apparently, it was advertised as the most accurate sensor ever, and there was really big problems with it, which is really unfortunate. There's uh, too much, too many problems with these things that we would rely on to stay alive. This is not, this is not good news that the technology is, is not better. So I'm really, really hopeful that both of these over-the-counter CGMs are good, but we shall see. Well, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be testing out the Dexcom Stello, Stello CGM and also the Abbott Lingo CGM, these over-the-counter CGMs to see, are they good? How useful are they? Because I'm revising my uh, book, my book, Success with Leda Diabetes, and I really think having insights from a CGM is so immensely valuable. I want to know, are these CGMs over-the-counter for people who don't need insulin yet, um, are, do they work well? Uh, can I recommend them, right? Um, the price is much cheaper than medical, medical grade. I mean, I bought two of these Stello Dexcom CGMs, a two pack for $99 on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. Um, and so this is cheaper than uh, <laughs> the medical grade CGM that was recommended to me years ago. Please, uh, if this was interesting to you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a like in this video. It really helps other people find my videos and encourages me to keep, keep producing content here. And uh, subscribe uh, to get notifications and to follow along with my uh, experiments with how well these over-the-counter CGMs work. And also all my other adventures with Insulin Pump Life. Please comment. Commenting on my videos also helps boost them in the YouTube search algorithm. Uh, I really appreciate if you have anything you can share, um, positive feedback, negative feedback, uh, your experience. What have you tried? Are you really frustrated or angry about something? Let us all know. Thank you.